we, we definitely face personal finance, financial uh, challenges. Uh, when you move from North Carolina to, um, uh, to Stanford, the cost of a housing uh, will sometimes triple or quadruple. And uh, when you have a young family, uh, so that was really challenging for the first five years or so. Uh, I just had to find another job. So I, I had my job at Stanford and then I had a, a job a, in an emergency room that I would work on every probably once a month or so. Uh, so it was challenging, but my, you know, as I said, my wife is very supportive. My kids were, my kids did not expect uh, anything fancy and um, so we, we made it through that. Uh, research also has had some really tough times um, getting funding. I, uh, in around 2003, I, I lost one of my sources of funding and uh, would really, w was at risk of having to stop research because what we do is fairly expensive and the, if the university told me I couldn't buy any more uh, reagents, I would have had to stop. But um, we managed to get through that. Uh, there, were, there was an, another difficult time right as we got the crystal, right as we were getting the crystals in 2007, we had our first crystals. And, uh, and I, I had uh, run very deeply into debt, probably around a, uh, a quarter of a million dollars. Uh, fortunately, the university didn't notice for a while. And, uh, and finally, they came to me and said, look, you, have, you, you can't spend anymore. And about the same time, a, a friend from pharmaceutical industry in, in uh, Denmark uh, called me up and said, how is your research going? And I said, well, we have crystals, but I'm, I'm running out of money. And he wrote a check uh, for several hundred thousand dollars uh, the next, literally the next day. He was that high, and, and I didn't realize how high he was in the, in the company that he could actually do that. So, you know, he was, it was a gift out of nowhere.